Good morning, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Nettie Iranpour in for Stella Escobedo. And I'm Heather Myers in for Eric Conard on this Tuesday. Let's get right here to our top story this morning. The desperate search to find a missing two year old girl is now over. The toddler has been found safe. Her father, who police say abducted the girl, is now in custody. News 8's Chris Groh has been on top of this story all morning long, joining us live now in University City. And that's where the father's car and the father all discovered near that area. Chris, what's the latest? Hey, good morning, Netta and Heather. The good news is obviously that young Charlie Faye was safe and sound when she was found all the way up in Escondido, but this was an Amber Alert case that spanned all the way from Choya's view. We saw officers obviously here in University City where they arrested the father, Lafayette Harris, and then all the way up to Escondido where they say that young Charlie Fay was staying with a friend of Lafayette Harris. In fact, this is how the San Diego Police Department described that. And we did receive a call from her saying, I, I have some information on that, which then led into, yes, I have the child. And so we're going to figure out exactly what her participation in this is. And I, and I just want to stress that the investigation still is really early. And what you're seeing right now is the moment that so many wanted to see throughout this morning. Two year old Charlie Faye being reunited with her mother at their home in Choyas View. This obviously happening though after they recovered her from that home in Escondido. That woman that she was staying with was not arrested. Police tell us she is not likely to be charged again. She called police immediately after seeing that Amber Alert on TV. However, she did tell our photojournalist there on scene that she does not believe that Lafayette Harris kidnapped his daughter. However, police again telling us a different story, saying that a restraining order was filed against Lafayette Harris that prevented him from seeing his daughter. It's not clear why that order was filed in the past, but Harris was in violation of it. Now, this is how they tracked down Lafayette Harris here to University City. They found out that he worked in construction, that some of the sites that he worked on uh, were in this area. They found found his car and then maybe a minute from where we are right now on UCSD campus. That's where they found Lafayette Harris. Again, this is all possible due to a very large response that they have from San Diego police officers and again information that they learned that he may work in this area. So what we're looking at for Lafayette Harris, the 31 year old, is that he is likely going to be charged with kidnapping in this case and potentially other charges. But the good news is obviously that his daughter, that two year old girl uh, is safe and sound with her mother.